So doing our low impact cardio for day two. And it turns out already a great example of something to talk about with regards to empowering yourself for 30 days and to take personal accountability has popped up. This is one that's bit me in particularly for a long time. Um, and that is planning your exercise with a partner. Now, while this can provide a lot of motivation, you gotta be careful that you don't make it all about the other person. Um, years ago, I trained with a weightlifting partner and we had a really good run. It, uh, it became, I think something like, we, were, we, we actually lifted for 87 days without a break, both guys showing up. And that was good. I got some fantastic gains for that during that. And uh, I was just really pleased with the whole thing. Provided that extra motivation, got me back into the flow. But at the time when I, I realized that I needed to start lifting, you know, in a different way to get the kind of things that I needed, which didn't match up to my to my friend I was working with, who had a different body type, um, then suddenly, you know, he became less interested in doing the kind of workout I needed. It became he was doing one workout, I was doing another, different kinds of reps. And ultimately that just kind of created a, a blockage to us having a good flow uh, trading off and in, 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 during the workout so ultimately I had to uh, had to kind of start doing my own thing which is you know not a bad thing always but um, more recently into the point of what I'm doing right now which is just low impact cardio I got my partner with me today she's exploring uh, come on girl more recently into the point, um, earlier this summer, I started working with a friend of mine who I hadn't really hung out with in a lot of years, and they were in even uh, more dire circumstances with the weight gain than myself, and that's saying something, because I'm a big boy, as you can see. Um, started walking with him, and man, it went fantastic. You know, as long as you commit to a workout, the really, the bigger you are, the faster you'll lose, in most cases. Um, I should say the higher body fat percentage that you have, the faster you will lose. And um, we walked consistently for, for about a month and a half together, three or four days a week, and he had amazing results. And uh, this kind of turned into a little bit of a double-edged sword because while it worked out great for him, I found my own motivation um, lagging because the workouts were a little too low impact. And then, you know, once again, when I tried to change the workouts a little bit to make them more like what I needed, um, my friend lost the interest and suddenly, you know, started walking well, without me. And That wasn't um, so bad. The, you know, um, the found times to walk when he knew sure. I wouldn't be able to walk, etc., etc. It started off like a shot and, at the um, cannon. Felt great. I mean, I didn't take it personally, really but, good. you know, the fact of the matter is, I let that crush my now. motivation, but it's odd which is a bad thing. So, there's blue sky I think... Well. Um, so yeah, I think you really have strange, to commit strange weather to look, here, but, uh, I'm going to wait this long for this person anyway, and no longer. Uh, if you're meeting somebody at the park and they're going to meet you at 1230, you know, 1235, uh, hey man, you know, you weren't there on the time, I'm, I'm walking anyway. So, uh, and yeah, today, I, felt my energy flagging you know, I walk with my, with my wife half, several days a week. I'm just having you know, today, today. She's, she told and, me uh, she wanted to walk, would I wait for her after her work schedule? Sure, I'll do that. Well, you know, the time came and she said, let me have a few more minutes. I mean, because, you know, I get it. Working all day, you're tired. I, I, I'm the same way. And a few more minutes pass. Still wasn't ready to go. Give me a few more minutes. Nope, sorry. You already had those few more minutes. I got to do what I got to do. Um, the power of 30 days is a good example of a time when it's okay to be selfish. Because when it comes to um, your personal fitness, really, there is no more important person in the world than you. If you're going to accomplish, you're the one that makes it happen, and you're the one that reaps the results, or if you do or do not, do the work. So, those are just my thoughts on that, and uh, just making that commitment to, uh, to get it done for yourself is something that I've had to work on, frankly. I've let, uh, I've let little things, little things, you know, deter me. I, I decided I was going to start this program on Monday, it rained all day Monday. I walked in the rain. 
fortunately now I have a I have a, a treadmill at home so that's not always necessary but um, you know it's a fallback but sometimes you just want to be out of doors walking I find walking on a treadmill incredibly dull but it can be effective but I always prefer the great outdoors and you know Albemarle being a town built on a hill such a great place to walk you got plenty of flat area thanks to the uh, city maintaining walking paths then you have areas like I'm walking in right now that sort of connect those those pieces of real estate then you have the town proper which has plenty of hills and as you know hills builds I just made that up <laughs> um, generally don't recommend walking on the um, railroad track but I do have an idea of the schedule of the train down here so I'm only going to be on it for a, a short distance to kind of connect two pieces of the path that I typically follow I'll tell you what in uh, this part of North Carolina this time of year toward the latter part of uh, September it is extremely nice weather give you a little uh, Give a little surround shot here of what we're working with. Oh, losing our aim. Let's try that again, America. <laughs> here we go. Let's go. Huh. Check out that rainbow. It's totally a rainbow right there. There's a better shot. <coughs> Come on, girl. Let's go. What's up, beauty? What's up, girl?
Come on. Chrissy. Hang on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Here we go. How's that water? all you want okay stay stay come on I used to work here when this place was a funeral home back prior to going to mortuary school and becoming a licensed funeral director in a bomber Use this shirt, uh, sorry, use this shirt for a film location once. Very scenic. And they finally got the front door fixed. Awesome. City of Albemarle. Police Department. Probably my favorite place to walk in town because of the Christmas tree type atmosphere. You gonna sample the grass again? Yeah, I thought so. She always hikes that one leg up. I always find that amusing. Stepping in the 1950s, why don't you? I actually ate here with my dad when I was a little kid. To the right. There's the entrance to the Opera House. You can check out g.h.o.s.t on Amazon if you want to see the movie that we um, we made here.
regular breakfast spot. Started. 